One in 200 pregnant young women in America claim to be a virgin, and I'll be diddly darn, I had no idea virgin births were so common. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. The virgin birth is central to the story of Jesus, and if you watch Zeitgeist with Trace in the screening room, you may have also learned that virgin birth is a big part of many old stories, including Isis and Horus, Krishna and Devaki, Addis and Nama, but scientifically, we see these stories as just that, stories. So what's up with the new study in the British Medical Journal which found that one in 200 pregnant young women in America claim they've never had sex? They followed 8,000 young women over 14 years, documenting their lives, beliefs, and their reproduction history. Of those who claimed to be pregnant virgins, they were twice as likely to have taken religious abstinence pledges. They were also an average age of 19, three years younger than the average age of the whole sample. And they reported high stress and inability to discuss sexual health issues with their children. It's possible that these women were more aggressively immersed in a culture that emphasizes the importance of staying a virgin, and maybe they didn't have adequate sex ed. It could be that they're in denial that they had vaginal sex because they feel ashamed. They may also be defining virginity differently. One thing that you learn being a sex educator is that everyone defines virginity in their own way. Maybe they have a different standard for what counts as sex. And I don't just mean like only butt sex counts. I mean maybe they feel like in order to lose it they have to be in love or have an orgasm. Maybe they don't count it because they were raped. There are a lot of possibilities since the researchers didn't explicitly ask how they were defining virginity. But there is another possibility, very unlikely but worth mentioning. Perhaps they really are virgins. It's not scientifically impossible. There's a biological phenomenon called parthenogenesis, Greek for virgin birth. It's where a female egg produces, activates, and develops another egg all by its lonesome. Parthenogenesis has been observed in a lot of animals, including bees, guppies, sharks, mice, Komodo dragons, pythons, even turkeys. It's never been observed in humans, but it's possible in theory. It's just very, very unlikely because in order for a woman to spontaneously create a viable embryo, a number of crazy uncommon biochemical things would have to occur all at once. The odds are somewhere around, you know, one in a quintillion billion. Certainly not one in 200. So maybe there's just the teeniest of chances that Mary herself was a virgin by scientific standards, but that would mean one unexpected twist. Parthenogenesis only produces female offspring, so Jesus would have had to have been a woman. So tell that to your family this Christmas. Thanks for hanging out with me on D News, guys. I hope you're having a great holiday season. Don't forget to check back soon for more science updates.